Did you know that for your GCSE art and design studies, you're expected to use both primary and secondary sources? Let's find out more about this. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Stella, your art and creativity expert. This series of videos is dedicated to provide support for the GCSE art and design students. On today's topic, I will discuss about what are primary and secondary sources. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. Primary source is anything you draw from real life observation or a photo you have taken yourself. For example, you might set up a still life of flowers in a vase and paint it directly from observation or you might ask friends and family members to pose for you and you photograph them. A secondary source is anything produced by others and that can be reproductions of images that you find on the internet, books or magazines, as well as other sources of inspiration, such as artifacts from a museum exhibition or even song lyrics, a story, a poem or an article. As part of your coursework, you're expected to make use of both primary and secondary sources. Most students, however, get comfortable and rely too much on secondary sources, which are mostly images found on the internet. Please do not fall into this trap. You need to show some studies from first-hand observation too. Of course, primary sources have their limitations. It is understandable that often you might not have access to specific subjects. For example, you might be studying wildlife animals and skin patterns. And obviously you're not in Africa to see real leopards and zebras, so of course you're going to make use of photos taken by others, secondary sources. However, if you're able to visit a zoo in your area, then here's your opportunity to make good use of a primary source, which might be more appreciated by the examiners. So this is it for today's topic. On the next video, I will give you some tips with detailed examples on how you can effectively make use of both primary and secondary sources in your coursework. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know and hit the like button. Tell me about your questions and concerns on the comment section below. Also grab the guide Quick Tips for the GCSE Art Studies and don't forget to check out my online course GCSE Art and Design Made Simple, the Complete Beginner's Guide. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, let art be a joy.